Corey Newton. Hello, good evening. I'm uh, Corey Newton from Warsing. Uh, Article 1, Chapter 5 of the Ulster County Charter says, Any person may make recommendations at any time to the county legislature for amendments to the charter. The, charters I, the changes I'm about to propose to the financial procedures contained in Article 4 will reduce the amount of political leverage available to the executive's office by requiring it to reveal information. The use of asymmetric asymmetric information in the budgeting process essentially steamrolls the legislature and the people into accepting the executive budget with only slight technical modifications. Unless these budgetary process issues contained in the charter are fixed, Ulster County will be unable to diversify its growth path from its critically flawed economic development, tourism, recreational trail, and casino gaming anti-strategy. That being said, I propose amendments to Article 4, Chapters 33, 34, and 35 of the Ulster County Charter. Article 4, Chapter 33 is essentially filled with technical jargon that codifies the outdated line item departmental budgeting method, which began to be phased out in the 1930s. Article 4, Chapter 33 should be amended in order to reject line item departmental budgeting and institute a, st a system of performance measurement and outcome-based budgeting established by the legislature, which a county executive department and program heads must adhere to. Performance measurement and outcomes should be based on the mission statements and goals of the departments and programs and whether or not these objectives are being met. Article 4, Chapter 34 concerns the submission of the county budget. Article 4, Chapter 34 should be amended to require that the proposed executive budget be submitted in an Excel spreadsheet format and published to the Internet. Excel spreadsheets are a common format utilized by those who have adopted outcome-based budgeting. Article 4, Chapter 35 concerns the Executive's County Budget Message. Article 4, Chapter 35 should be amended to require the Executive to produce a detailed list of all state-mandated programs and departments, an accounting of state and federal aid associated with these mandates, and an accounting of the county funds used to supplement these mandates within an established system of performance measurement and outcome-based budgeting. I would prefer a much more holistic and organic approach to budgeting in Ulster County, rooted in the basic economic principles of elasticity and opportunity cost. I understand that this is not going to occur anytime soon. In the, meantime, in the meantime, those who claim to be innovative government reform technocrats fail to deliver innovative reforms such as outcome-based budgets and systems of performance measurement. The only way to hold them accountable for such claims is to amend Article 4, Chapters 33, 34, and 35 of the Charter. Thank you for your time. Stay warm. Have a great evening. All right, now, um, before